We are proud Americans, and that is a fact. Hi, I'm Vance Dykes, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is one of the fundamental rights that are guaranteed and protected to us American citizens in the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, you know, to gather, to assemble. So, right now in our country, <clears throat> excuse me, freedom of speech is under attack and especially when it comes to social media platforms such as YouTube and Facebook, and I'm not sure about any other um, social media platforms because I have not really used much social media platforms except for YouTube and Facebook. I can't say anything about Reddit or anything else like that. I can't. But what I can say is that from everything that I've been hearing and everything that I've been experiencing for myself, freedom of speech is under attack in the 21st century. And that is a sad, sad thing, my friends. It is. And you know something? One of the reasons why these people are always attacking freedom of religion, and I'm pretty much blaming the socialist Democrats and the radical leftists, the leftist liberals, you know, they want to say that, you know, some of the things that we say, you know, like us conservatives and Republicans and Trump supporters and, you know, whoever else that they're against, you know, they claim that, you know, what we say is very offensive. And I will say that I do agree that we need to be careful how we say certain things, like the kind of words that we use and the tone in our voice. You know, I understand that. I get that 100%. But at the same time, we also have to learn, and especially the leftists, you know, if they can learn anything at all, you know, if they actually want to learn anything at all, but I don't think they really want to learn anything. I think what they really want is to try and change this country and make it what they want it to be instead of what it should be. So what I'm trying to say is that, you know, we need to understand that freedom of speech does involve the risk of saying something that may offend somebody. And also our opponents, you know, when they say something that offends us, you know, we have to learn to not let our emotions get the best of us, you know, because that's something that happens, you know, when someone says something that we don't like, you know, because it triggers something in our minds and it hurts our feelings. And then, you know, some people, they may start yelling and screaming. Some people may start throwing punches, you know. It's understandable that there may be some things that some people say that we don't like, that you don't like, that really triggers your, triggers your mind, it hurts your feelings, and that's understandable. But what we need to understand is that's a part of freedom of speech is that sometimes someone is going to say something that, you know, we don't like, you know, that freedom of speech is not about saying something that we like, you know, it's not about saying something that you, it's not about me saying something that you would like to hear. It's about me and as well as my fellow Americans, you know, saying what we feel in our hearts, what our conscience tells us what we need to say what we feel led to say as people who stand on firm foundations of moral principles. You know, what we believe and what we have always been taught is right. You know, our consciences will always tell us that this is what you need to do and it's for your own benefit and it's for the benefit of all of mankind. You know what I mean? So that's a part of freedom of speech, you know, it's about us saying what we feel our consciences are leading us to say for the good of mankind. It's not about me saying something that you like and not always something that you agree with. And as I said before, we need to stop getting all emotional. We need to stop being so sensitive to what everyone says, you know, regardless of what they say and the tone of voice that they use to say what it, whatever it is that they need to say, you know, because I will say this, not only well, that kind of behavior lead to us not having freedom of speech anymore, but we won't have some really good funny stuff to watch on TV anymore. So that's another reason why I champion freedom of speech. So that way, you know, American people can say whatever they feel in their hearts they need to say, and so that I can actually watch some real good comedy on TV and actually laugh and not go, what? 
What the heck is this crap? So what I'm trying to say, my fellow Americans and everyone else in the world who's watching this, is that we need to stop being so sensitive to what everyone says and how they say it. We need to stop allowing our emotions to get the best of us because the more we do that, the more that it leads to our own destruction. That's all I got to say. For those of you who have stuck around to the end, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. And remember that we are real Americans with real American values, patriotic values. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message.